Hey everybody, I'm Gabe Gentile, production manager here at Tiny House Listings. Just wanted to give you a little tour of the shop, kind of show you our processes. If you're new, it'll be something to inform you on, you know, just give you a little inside look of what's going on here. Behind me, what you can see is we actually have one build already in its beginning stages. So the trailer got rolled in, it gets prepped, the floor gets framed. After that, we do all our underground plumbing, all our underground electrical, uh, floor insulation, and then we go ahead and sheet it. You can see behind me that the pipes are coming up underneath the ground. That's because we don't want to run it in the walls and risk damaging it when we do inside sheathing and outside sheathing and siding and things like that. So that's why we choose to run them in the floor. As we're walking over to the next one, after this stage, it'll actually stay right here to get go on to its next stage because you can see above there's actually the cranes. So this table in the middle is where we cranes down to this table. So this table in the middle is where we actually frame the walls. We make sure they're perfectly square. We put our inside sheathing on first, and then we hoist them up with the cranes and drop them onto the floor and screw them down. One reason we do that is because if it's flat on the ground, over on the framing table, everything's square, plumb, and level, so we don't have to worry about cutting out for these pipes and moving a stud over here because it's hitting a pipe over there. We can do it without any interruptions, Get trip, make sure everything's line it up perfectly like it's supposed to be, pick it up and drop it down. And then, on top of that, everything goes together like a puzzle and everything lines up perfectly. So, but let me show you what one will look like before the roof's framed on and how it looks when it's framed from the inside out. So, ahead of me right now, we have a 32 by eight. This is a model tiny. It's gonna, it's, gonna, it's uh, like our other 24 and 28 model tinies, it just happened to be 32 feet long. So you can see in the back, it's got the two picture windows. And then if you take a long shot down, you can actually see this thing is long, long and skinny. Um, but if you, know, if you pan inside, you can actually see that we attach the inside walls first. Another reason we do that is because when our guys are out here, all your electrical outlets go here. You know what I mean? It's all waist level. So we don't have to crouch down or do anything like that. We could just cut our boxes in wire it up, staple it, make sure everything's insulated, all the plumbing gets done out here. And that way also I can have a guy working on the inside and a guy working on the outside at the same time. But after it gets framed and the walls are up, it'll actually get rolled up to this stage right here. So, and then we'll show you what happens on the next, next stage. So then coming back to the back of the shop, I'm doing a little, uh, what do you call it, fall cleaning. So I was doing a little fall cleaning because that's why things are a little askew right now. But on this trailer, what you can see is this, this trailer actually has all the electrical done on the outside, all the wiring, the main components, the water lines are done, the rough plumbing is put in to where it's gotta go on the wall, so when we do the inside, you can set the vanities and the sinks and the cabinets and things like that. And then after that, after that's all done, it's all insulated behind here, and then we wrap the building with uh, Tyvek. If you're doing a different siding option, it'll get wrapped with sheets, um, but this person wanted the LP sheets, which actually gets mounted directly to the, to the studs. They are structural, and they are rated to be an exterior uh, structural wall panel, but it's also siding, so that's another way we do things around here. Um, but if you come this way and you actually pan inside, you can see that all the, the electrical lines and all the boxes are cut in nice and neat because we do it from the outside. That's a reason why. There's no, oh, I missed the measurement and I have to waste the board. No, everything gets cut right in place and it gets put in and there's less waste with, with that option. And then, you know, at this stage, she's ready to roll on the outside and the inside. So I can have guys working on the ceiling. I can have a guy working on the floor because what we do, we actually put our floor in, we put all our trim in first. We put the windows in, we put the, uh, the ceiling trim in. Any trim that gets painted, we actually do it now because we tape off the whole floor and we use a sprayer to spray our interior. So we, we, we do that because it, it speeds up time and it helps us get the tiny houses to the customers faster. As we move up the line, you'll see that after this stage, a couple of things can happen here. Um, this is where the siding gets done. So we have the LP sheets with the board and batten look and the windows are trimmed out nicely. Everything's caulked. This one's actually ready to get painted soon. I think today or tomorrow, some, something like that. This would be like stage four and a half, five. So kind of right where it is now is where we'll actually start putting in kitchen countertops and cabinets and toilets and things of that nature. Um, 
So if you come in here, you can see this one's been painting. The ceiling's done. Um, just needs a couple of touch-ups here and there from guys dinging it, of course. But you can see how all the paint is very clean and crisp. That's because we take our time, we tape off the floor, we tape off the ceiling. And then at this stage, you can actually see this is where we start putting our cabinets in. Uh, this one's, this lady opted for the butcher block, so she got a big 24-inch black sink, three burner induction cooktop. Um, and then in her bathroom, it's our standard bathroom layout. You got a 30-inch vanity, flush toilet or compost toilet if you want to upgrade to that. You get shower tiles, nice, I think she did black in this one, but she did nice shower tiles. We have many colors you can choose from. And then the washer and dryer is actually in the bathroom on the other side. But you can see, this one's well on its way. Um, toilet needs to be installed, uh, handles need to be installed, and that's what happens in the next stage. So let's hop out of this trailer, we'll go to the next one. Hey, so at, at this trailer, you can see this one's actually been painted. This, this lady opted in to do the uh, Cypress wall upgrade. So this is the local product we get from local mail. It's a uh, Cypress siding. It gets, uh, gets nailed on, screwed on, and we, we do a UV resistant polyurethane on it. But you can see this house is pretty much on its way. It's gonna be leaving the warehouse in a day or two, going to its destination. Um, but you can see Guys are touching up paint, we're touching up things. We got a loft that was just built in this one. It actually is an exposed look, and we can go into detail about that later. But right now, this is where everything will get tested. The water lines will get tested, the sinks will get tested, we'll test the water heater, the ACs, we'll make, make sure everything works. And then after here, it either goes into our inventory lot or it goes to the customer. So if you're interested in purchasing one from our inventory lot, or having a new build done for you, go ahead and email us at build at tinyhousesystings.com or click the link in the description below. Catch you on the next one.